Oh, what's up, Drew? It's Marshall. Come to guys, girl, after all. I appreciate you coming along for another boxing adventure. Uh, this is one, <laughs> one I'm proud of. One I'm, uh, I'm happy. Uh, man, what can I say? Let's get to it. Check it out. Whoa. Coming at you guys and girls raw, 157 style. This is my large EDC drop point with a high performance variable grind wearing F40 carbon fiber bolster up front, stainless steel hardware throughout, a stainless steel um, four stainless steel 250 tubes, thick walled, chamfer flared and epoxied, and four 125 stainless steel pins that have been epoxied and peened. Uh, it has my old school engraving with the LMK per request. On the show side, information on the go side, which is Number 157, L. Marshall, nice to meet you. And CPM, S35BN, with, roll down from the show side, knife is going to cross draw, my friend cross draw Rob. What's up brother? His link will be down below, absolutely quality person. Outstanding person I am very, very blessed uh, to call friend with. Call me anytime, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Always appreciate the call. Uh, this knife has the liner and spacer to cause the yin yang effect of the oldest of the old school uh, knife handle material. This is elk bone, uh, excuse me, elk antler. It's not elk bone, but it's elk antler. Mated with the outstanding. F40 carbon fiber from Nate over a ghost carbon fiber. The absolute boss, boss carbon fiber. Just amazing. Very, 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 very uniform, outstanding. And blood red liners from G10. I got the, the G10 from USA Knife Maker. What do you think? Heavily, heavily contoured for ergonomic bliss in hand. Got the Coke bottle hourglass. The, um, I guess they call them finger divots or finger, the finger trolls deep here, but additional finger trolls or, or grasping for your pinch, your pinch grip. Uh, you know, for guys like myself and and Rob, who have 2X, 3XL hands, uh, doing this with a big knife is very common. Uh, so, pinch gripping is very, very, very um, necessary. And, unfortunately, I don't have any blood red, but this is the only red I have, and it will get dirty. It's one of those bright reds that gets dirty over everything, but I have my very first 100% done by myself custom bead. I, I use the techniques that were shown to me by Mr. Gillespie, and I made an F40 spaced out with the Blood Red G10 and the, um, the Elk Antler. I'm going to pause right there, I'm going to shut the door. You know, we roll we're back before we get any of the outstanding cutting done uh, with this. We want to go ahead and make sure. Uh, for the sheath, I secured it uh, with with a large tech lock for Rob. Uh, that way he can use it. Safety latch down. He can use it either as a belt system because I have it very secured with the three custom uh, fasteners that I have made uh, out of, of solid brass or oh, on his belt you can adjust 
for your belt size. Let's put the knife down for a second so I don't cut myself because that would be bad. Uh, but you can go ahead and adjust for belt size like this or you go ahead and leave it out and this fits right inside your molly system so if you want to hook it on to the molly strap on one of your backpacks um, hook it onto your molly belt if you have a in um, you know a battle belt uh, whatever you want so you just snap it in I'm gonna set it up for your generic for your belt and go from there put your belt on put it over and then lock it and you're good to go. Slip it off like normal. Um, per request, I have the, the uh, pocket catch slash thumb, thumb push. I go from there. Let's go ahead and talk about the blade. Per request on the blade, Rob said, bro, I love your high performance variable grind. And I say, yes. So I put it on there. Very, very acute tip for them. <sighs> what a lean high performance grind for a thick tip. And she's a performer. Very, very high performing. So, let's cut some stuff. Let's um, save this half for uh, some rusty rags in a minute. Fresh phone book page. I gotta get a new phone book soon. But, curly juice. Curly cues. Uh, keep cutting them off. Oh, yeah, cut it off. Either I haven't had enough. I was gonna say I haven't had enough coffee, or had too much. Make them a little bigger. Feather stick in phone book paper. What? Yes. Yeah, but... Get that out of the way so we get a nice tackle heart for my friend Rob. And Grab from the front. Where am I connected? Oh, no. Cut that off for a second. Let's clean that up right there. Free floating tackle heart shaving. What? Yes! <laughs> Getting a little cuckoo, but it's okay. As for the, uh, as for the, the, uh, all the logistics, I, I remember to bring them down this time. The LMK, the business card, brother, you got my number. You know the call, text, anytime. Um, and the uh, COP. It's a large drop point, oh excuse me, the blade style is a drop point, steel CPM S35VN, heat treated and uh, tempered and rock well tested in the shop. There's a rock well tester. If you guys and girls want to know about that, you can check out Instagram. Uh, follow the hashtag of 157LMK. And 157 LMK, uh, hashtag 157 LMK, will show you the, the whole story um, from uh, annealed steel to 
what you see before you. Uh, and hopefully when, when Rob goes ahead and, and uh, gets her in his hands and, and uh, you know, he continues the hashtag. So you can see the continuation of the story on this night. Uh, left off. The CPM uh, S35VN, this is my large EDC drop point. Dates 28th, uh, knife is 157, and Lloyd Marshall, nice to meet you. That's the makeup. So, as for my Rusty Rags Ultimate Knife Care Kit that's going to Rob, I have the clamshell package that the knife down just for a second where you can see it. Uh, it's right there in the drill press. We'll open this up and we're gonna put Rob's goodies inside there. And man, let me tell you, this this build when Rob said, go bro, I kind of got an idea of what I want. I want a uh, something like I've done before. I said okay. It was a, uh, but I want it uh, $25.75. I said, okay, what's up? And he's like, uh, Ultra Knife Care Kit, uh, L. Marshall cards, uh, COP, and Tack the Hot all in there. Uh, I said, what's up? He goes, uh, I want the, uh, I want horn and 25%, 75% horn, 25%. Uh, carbon fiber. I said, I'd love to. He said, blood red. I said, yes. He said, after that, you get to, you get to uh, do what you want as long as you have your high performance variable grind, the engraving, uh, custom engraving that he wanted, and a high polish or a polished flat with a belt finish on the, on the bevels. I think I nailed that. Let's get some rusty rags off the knife and tear sauce. Wipe 157 down and get rid of the fingerprints. So you can see exactly to what I'm speaking. Saying goodbye to her in my own special way. And you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, if this is the very first bead in existence, I'm getting some rusty rags on that. That's the way it's got to be. So for the bead, if I didn't mention it, it is a matching um, elk antler, the matching G10, and the matching F40 carbon fiber with the matching 0250 tube. Uh, my very, very last 050 tube in stock. So I, I, I had to pull this off one time, no retakes. I was like, yeah. I ended up big blister on my finger from it while I was on the buffing machine. And I have a short 15 second uh, video on, on Instagram of me shooting off my buffer and then finding way over there uh, the bead. Let me tell you. <sighs> that was a uh, F-bomb filled uh, five minutes. <laughs> but, get on to it. Show off the knife one more time. You know how we do it. Belt finish bevels and swedge with the polished flats. side, get one more little white. And go through. Makes custom beads look amazing. What? Yep. So for now, this is not the last time the knife comes out of the sheath by my hand because I will take uh, a couple pictures. The uh, noise you hear in the background is uh, the city destroying the stump. 
that they were supposed to take care of years ago. So I will not have any more pictures from my stump after today. For now, I'm going to be blessed. Thank you for coming along for another one of these adventures. Please go show uh, my friend Rob some support and let me know what you think of this build down below or head over to Instagram and uh, for a guaranteed response because when you when you comment on Instagram, it lets me know via the phone. Everyone, thank you for your time. Have a nice week. You deserve it. Out.